So I think there's three major implications for New Zealand uh, as a result of President Trump's uh, successful election in the US. First is trade. Uh, the TPP is dead in the water. That's what John Key has called it. But it do this does not just mean that the TPP is dead in the water. It also represents a rejection of the idea of not just increased economic integration between these 12 countries of the Asia Pacific Rim. It represents a rejection of um, the political consensus that increased free trade across the Asia Pacific region should continue. Second major implication for New Zealand I think is in the bilateral security relationship. Over the last eight years the New Zealand US security relationship has improved markedly to the degree that we are effectively a de facto ally of the United States once again. Now Donald Trump has said that um, he will do more for states to do more for America. So this may very well require New Zealand to um, send more of our military forces overseas, to expand our military budget in order to ensure we maintain that close security relationship with the United States. Third implication I would say is for New Zealand foreign policy strategy. The national government has done a lot to look at five year and 10 year time horizons and then calibrate New Zealand's foreign policy strategy in order to maximise opportunities and minimise risks over the next five to 10 years. Donald Trump is like an explosion going off in the middle of that strategy. We simply do not know what he's going to do, where he is going to lead America, and therefore where uh, the world will be headed over the next five to 10 years.